I hope you're having a great day. And I'm here to do a little kind of what I think about these Hawk Performance Street Pads. I just recently put them on my 2014 Nissan GTR, and I wanted to let you guys know what I thought about them. And in this video, that's kind of what we're going to do. At first, I'd like to apologize if you hear any wind noise in the background. Uh, Hurricane Dorian is still managing to rummish through North Carolina. Now, it's not terrible, uh, but it's just enough to where I feel like you guys are going to hear it. When I get to edit this video, I'm going to go, oh my god! But anyways, let's get on with this little what I think about the Hawk performance. So I've I've had the I've had the pads on for probably I'd say three three weeks or so. And one of my frustrations with the other pads that were on it, I think the gentleman that had it before me, they wore the original Brimbo pads or he had them replaced to be uh just kind of just replaced to be the factory ones. And um uh, they were noisy as all hell. Um, we're, we're talking like a buddy of mine at work, I, I pulled up next to him at a traffic light and he's jamming to heavy, heavy metal. I could hear it outside of the car. And when I pulled up, his windows were up, the music is still going and he's like pointing at his ears. And I'm just over there like just embarrassed. Uh, I feel like I just pulled up in a freaking 1978 rusty work bucket truck. But no, I'm actually in a GTR. And it was just kind of embarrassing, and I was like, well, I gotta, I gotta freaking change this because I can't stand it. My wife, she didn't even want to ride in the car because of the, the, the noise. So I decided, well, I have a $250 credit at one of the performance shops, which is Phantasm Motorsports, which gave me a good deal on these, and I appreciate that. So, Phantasm, if you're watching this, I appreciate it. Um... So I decided to go to the Hawk Performance, and I was like, "Well, you know what? If I if I go track if I track the car, which I don't really plan to just yet, I want to do a few more things to it. That stuff I do not know yet, but I'm gonna pretty much be driving it back and forth to work and toying with it on the weekend. So I was like, "Well, I'll just put a street pad on it, not a race pad." So put these on and the first thing that I've noticed was that the squeak went away and the squeal and all the all those freaking annoying noises went away um, so I was like well you know hopefully the squeak went away but the kind of the, the stopping power didn't didn't just kind of uh, what would you call it falter in order to take the sound away after driving the car, I did like the, the break-in process that it says on the back of the box, which is, for those of you that don't know, it is install the brake pads, make 6 to 10 engagements at 30 to 35 miles per hour, apply moderate pressure without coming to a complete stop. And then, immediately after that, do an additional 2 to 3 brake engagements from 40 to 45 with a hard pedal pressure and without coming to a complete stop. It also says do not drag race on these brakes. <laughs> so I'll have to keep that in mind before I take it to the drag strip, which I want to do this fall and see what it did compared to my Hellcat. That'll be another video. But so far, I have no complaints. Um, the only time I really noticed it is I drove it today in the rain and it was pretty heavy rain. A lot of, uh, you know, standing water on the road and and all that good stuff just because we're in a hurricane probably shouldn't have been driving the car in a in the freaking hurricane or tropical storm or whatever the hell we're getting here but i did notice they were a little sluggish at first stopping but i mean all in all i'd use them again so for those of you that are looking for the hawk performance street pads try them out uh I don't think you'll be disappointed. They they aren't as good as the Brembo pads, but they're, they're a good alternative or replacement if you're just deciding to do every regular day just street driving. So there's my thoughts on the pads. If you disagree with them, okay. Everybody has an opinions and you know what opinions are like. I'll let you guys figure that one out on your own. But so far I like them and I'll use them again in the future. Plus the brake dust is not that terribly bad. The Brembo's were a whole hell of a lot worse. We'll just put it that way. 
If you guys like what you saw and you want to see more reviews on stuff that I have put on my GTR, please let me know and we will get to those. Hopefully I can start doing some fun stuff here with it and have some more exciting videos. Lately it's just been so freaking hot and like just kind of miserable to be outside and that's why I've been doing a lot of these kind of in the confines of my garage at night because that's when it's the coolest and I'm not just standing in the garage sweating like a pig. And for those of you that live in North Carolina, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. And it's that point of the year where I'm completely over it and I just get irritated every time I walk outside and it's like 90 degrees. And 100% humidity. Anyways, I'm done with that rant. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, you know what you gotta do. Uh, and we'll see you guys on the next one for some more stuff. If you didn't see my previous video about the news that I had for the direction of this channel, Please watch that. I will leave a link right here for that. Check it out. And you guys will go to updated on where we're headed and who we're working with here in the future. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Ugh.